Hey guys, and welcome back to the Tinkerbox. Today, I have a update to the Comparator information, because since the last time I made a video on Comparator inventory checking, the, mm, the, the amounts needed to light up have changed slightly. So the way it works now is that for just one item, you will get a signal strength of one. And so basically this video is just going to go over how to get a signal strength of two and out. So if I put 13 back in here, I'll get an extra signal strength. Now, the amount it takes to get the second signal strength plus the amount it takes to get the first signal strength is the amount you'll need to get every additional signal strength. So basically what that means is it takes 1 to get the first signal strength, 13 to get the second signal strength. You can kind of see off to the side here it lights up. However, if I just put another 13 in here, you'll see that it doesn't light up again. It needs 14 more. So basically, your startup plus the requirement to get to your second signal strength is what will get you every additional piece of um, signal strength after that. So just keep that in mind as I'm showing you the rest of these. For instance, for a chest, it takes, whoops daisy, dang it, just messed things up, double click in one second. There we go. Okay, so it takes one piece of redstone, like all other things, to initially get the chest started. Then it takes 59 plus 64. So that means to get a signal strength of 3, whereas this is only 2, you would have to add an additional 64 plus 60 redstone to get a signal strength of 3 instead of 2. Alright, so now onto the dispenser. And the dispenser and dropper are going to be the same because they have the same inventory size. So uh, to get your first signal strength, like all the others, one p item and then 41 additional items after that to get the second signal strength, and for every additional signal strength after that, it will be 42. And mine carts are still ignored because no one loves them. For a hopper, it takes one, and then for the second one, it takes 22, and then for every additional piece of redstone you want it to light up after that, it will take an additional 23. And now one th item that was woefully neglected in my previous video was the brewing stand. Actually, well, I need to go find out and give credit to who mentioned that. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Alright, so that was Levi Dooley who mentioned that I forgot brewing stands, so thank you, Levi. Um, or is it Levy? I think it's Le it's either Levi or Levy Dooley. So, uh, thank you very much for pointing out I forgot brewing stands. Now, brewing stands are odd because a single item in a brewing stand, whether it is a... A uh, stackable item or just a water bottle will output a signal strength of four and then putting another item in there we'll put one two three four one two three four an additional signal strength of four so basically for every item you put in here you're going to get an additional four on your signal strength so uh, brewing stands are kind of the oddball out or the odd man out in this case but <clears throat> aside from that um, that is the new information about how comparators check inventories I just thought it, I always like to make updates to previous videos when they become outdated because I don't like um, I don't like to misinform you guys so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you guys all next time toodles